guys. Hope all is well. Well, my, my channel has been mainly about VR flight simulation. I've always been fascinated with drones. I've had a few small drones over the years without cameras and no automated functions. And I've always wanted to own a more sophisticated drone and get more into precision flying as well as high definition aerial photography. It would also be a great reason to get outdoors and get some more movement in my life, if you will. So it's time to take the plunge and buy one. I plan to create a series of videos documenting my drone journey. Hopefully this will help others who are interested in getting into the hobby. But before I get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that like button to help the video get noticed in the YouTube algo. So as a first step in my drone journey, uh, I spent countless hours researching and figuring out which drone best fit my requirements and interests. And YouTube was really a great resource for doing that research. My requirements are pretty simple. I want to have some fun flying and create YouTube content for my channel and maybe at some point get into commercial aerial photography work, like for real estate and such. As far as budget, I like to keep it under $1,000 considering I'm new to this hobby and I want to limit my exposure should I crash the thing, you know. I looked at dozens of drones from many manufacturers and I narrowed it down to either the DJI Mini 2 or the DJI Air 2S. Quite a difference between those two, but the Mini 2 is just under $700 for the Fly More combo, and it's really just under $1,500 for the Air 2S. And that's with like SD cards and the DJI Care Refresh, which gives you uh, protection if you lose your drone or if it flies away. The Fly More combo gives you like two extra batteries and some accessories, a case and stuff. But I think the DJI Care refresh is really a must for me. So after much pondering, I decided to go with the Mini 2. And here's why. First of all, the all-in price is well under $1,000. And for the money, it has some really amazing features and capabilities. Being new to drones, it seemed to make sense to cut my teeth in the Mini 2. I need to become a more confident drone pilot while learning about aerial photography. And I didn't feel comfortable piloting more expensive drones drone having zero experience. I figure I can always trade up down the road if for some reason I outgrow the Mini 2. The Mini 2 has solid features for the price and it'll allow me to do everything I want to do with a drone like shoot 4K video and take cool aerial photography. Some things I really liked about the Air 2S though were OcuSync 3, better wind resistance, has obstacle avoidance, active track, and a better camera. But I really wasn't up to spending 1500 bucks. And like I said, I can always trade up down the road if I really get hooked on the hobby and need some extra capability. The Mini 2 uses OcuSync 2, and it's pretty good wind resistance for the price. The Mini 2's camera will shoot 4K 30 FPS video, which should be just fine for YouTube content and even commercial photography if I decide to get into that. So while I may be settling a bit for a less expensive drone, I feel like I'm buying a drone with plenty of capability. So I've ordered my Mini 2 Fly More Combo with a two-year DJI refresh package and a couple of S a 64 gig SD card. Hopefully that'll be coming pretty soon. After deciding on a drone, I thought but a good next step would be to take the trust exam, which was developed by the FAA for recreational pilots. It's a free, guided, common sense exam, which is designed to help new recreational drone pilots become familiar with the basic FAA rules for flying drones. There's a link in the description to the FAA's trust webpage if you want to check that out. It's an online exam, and the good news is you can't fail it. If you select the wrong multiple choice answer, you get another shot at picking the right one. It's designed really to educate new recreational drone pilots. I took the exam online from Chippewa Valley Technical College website. It took me about eight minutes to complete and pass the exam and become an FAA trust certified drone pilot. I'll keep the certificate with me when I'm flying in case I need to present it to local authorities or something like that. The nice thing about the Mini 2 is because it weighs less than 250 grams, you don't have to register it with the FAA, but I will probably register it anyway since I plan to use it for commercial applications down the road. Now, while I'm waiting for my Mini 2 to arrive, I've downloaded helpful docs and apps for my iPhone, like sectional charts for my area, the DJI Fly app, UAV forecast, air map, and before you fly app. I'm going to create a checklist to have handy when flying, just to make sure I do everything I need to do before I take off with the drone. I want to be prepared to avoid any potential issues with the drone, with the FAA, and with local authorities. While I'm getting some stick time with the Mini 2, I plan to start prepping for the FAA Part 107 exam, which is required to operate a drone for commercial purposes, including monetized YouTube videos filmed with a drone. About a year ago, I passed a sample test for the Part 107. 
after watching a study guide video, also using what I learned from flying simulators and what I know about reading sectional charts. With some studying, I should be able to pass the Part 107 exam, hopefully pretty easily. I'm really excited to get started with drones. It's something I've always wanted to do. I'm looking forward to getting started with the Mini 2 and seeing where that journey takes me, guys. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button if you like what you saw today. And please subscribe to the channel to follow my drone journey. Have a great day, guys. Thank you.